What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Just watched uh, Sergey Lipinets win a unanimous decision over um, Kondo. That's what I'm calling him. Um, from Japan, um, I see a lot of brothers. Um, shout out to the championship rounds on boxing on, on Facebook. Excuse me. I see a lot of brothers in there had Okondo, Okondo winning, winning the fight. I didn't score it. I'm back and forth, you know, kind of, uh, you know, multitasking. And, you know, I felt that, um, you know, it was closer than the two. I think it was two 118, 110 scores. And obviously, um, the, 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 um, the promoted favorite fighter in Lippinets got the, got the nod, um, Looking at the punch stats right now, 173 to 140. I don't care about that. I don't go off punch stats because that's somebody at home or ringside scoring what punches land and what don't land. It's opinionated stats. I go over that time and time again, but let's talk about the fight. Early on, Lippinets was doing his thing. Um, you know, using the jab is a beautiful thing, working the body. Seemed like he was going to cruise to about a nice, easy decision because um, the condo, tough, tough chin. Takashi Miura, um, uh, Walker, the, the Walker kid that fought Omar Figueroa. These Asians are tough. They might be the Iron Man of the, um, of, you know, of boxing. But these are scores 118, 110, 117, 111, 117, 111. So they had it a wide decision by Sergey Lippin. That's, that's bull crap. Um, this was a close fight. Steve Farhood had it even. Um, and, you know, like I said, a lot of brothers that scored the fight failed. Okondo won. And uh, I can see him definitely winning uh, this fight. It definitely wasn't those wise scores. And, you know, the Al Hammond fighter here got the nod. Um, but back to the um, the breakdown real quick. About the middle round, uh, Kondo landed a, a, a crispy combination that caught Lippinette's, um attention. That kind of turned the fight. And then the cut over the head happened. And his, his pressure, you know, started to take um, a toll on uh on Lippinets, you know, Lippinets late in the fight, eight nine nine eight nine ten. You know, you could tell he ain't used to being in those rounds. Started to slow down. Kondo really started putting rounds in the bank, in my opinion, just off a of, off of eyeballing it. Um, and you know, think about it on him, man. I think, you know, I think it wouldn't have been a bad decision to get him to deny. It. You know, I think, you know, he did more. He was more active late in the fights. Um, he was just a product of coming to to the United States. Um, and being a fa and, and losing to the favorite, losing to the promoter and the manager favorite, and um, they took a Twitter poll. Fifty eight percent of people thought Lippinets won, to forty two percent people thought Condo won. So uh, maybe it wasn't a travesty as it was, but the crowd was booing. Um, I felt the Condo Condo deserved more than a one seventeen, one eleven, one eighteen, one ten um, decision. And um, you know, I you know he fought his whole career. You know, 36 fights before this fight in the same venue over there in Asia. And um understand why, man. These guys don't want to come over here, man. You ain't going to get a fair shake when you go to somebody else's country. You know, we talk about going, you know, fighters in America talking about, oh, we don't get a fair shake if we go to, to Europe or to the U.K. or Russia or whatever it is. Well, you know, you ain't going to get a fair shake coming to fight y'all in America. I know Coke, Lip, Lipinets wasn't American, but um, but still, man, you know, kind of deserve better than that. Man, I hope they bring him back, um, give him a nice payday versus a nice fighter. Um, cause Lippinets really didn't, didn't earn this, this win. I'm going to say that right now. And he was talking about all that trash about what do you do to Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford was ducking him. Didn't want to fight for the vacant title, dropped his title cause of him. Terrence Crawford would have drug him, you know, from here to Acapulco, you know, it literally, he would have stopped this kid. This kid got a long way to go. He's a talented fighter. He's talking going up to 147 and Lippinets, he better sit down, be humble. He really better sit down and be humble because, um, you know, those guys up there hit a lot harder than a condo, more skilled than a condo, bigger than a condo. Um, you know, you better get some more 12-round championship-type fights in the bank. Um, he not the best fighter at 140. That's to be seen, but I know it ain't him. I know uh, Regis Progress is better than me than him. Um, Josh Taylor is one of the better ones in, in, in there as well. So we'll see what goes on. Let me know what y'all think about this decision. We gone.